Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about some interesting things that dropped today. Uh, the Golden Globe Awards have uh, announced some of the nominees that are going to be presented uh, at this year or next year's Golden Globe Awards for this year's uh, movies and television shows. Uh, and something is catching uh, the nerds, uh, my fellow nerds out there by storm uh that is black panther is not only nominated for best song not only nominated for best uh uh score but also nominated that's right for best picture uh black panther uh being nominated for best picture at the golden globe awards is a huge deal now some people will say oh the golden globe awards they're they're not that important, especially compared to uh, the Academy Awards. You know, the Academy Awards are the ones that that uh, are the, the important ones. But um, let's not forget some of the things that get nominated, especially in be for Best Picture, uh, usually transfer over to what will could be the Academy Awards nominees. Uh, so this is actually very hopeful for Black Panther in the long run. And look, I'm not saying we should all think that, oh, Black Panther is going to win. Guaranteed, because it won't. I guarantee you it will not win Best Picture. Um, but being nominated is not a bad thing and is, is a step in the right direction. It is kind of cool looking at this now and saying, wow, a Golden Globe Awards is actually nominating a superhero movie for Best Picture. I mean, uh, if you guys watched collider collider heroes uh if john schnepp was alive today i'm sure he would be very very pleased with how black panther is being treated um you know having a superhero movie be nominated is something that is every nerd's dream if you are a fan of this genre you are very happy today look you might not have thought that black panther might have been the best superhero movie of all time although there are people that do think it's the best superhero movie of all time for them you know you can't tell people they're wrong uh but as a fan of the genre in general you know as someone who would have loved to see the dark knight up there one time at one point in time dark knight deserved it uh logan i feel deserved it as well i i would even make a little argument uh for for wonder woman there i know a lot of people f felt like the movie slacked a little at the end but uh, I think you could have still made an argument for Wonder Woman for what the movie did culturally, and that's what Black Panther did as well. It, it culturally, it was in it, was, it made a huge impact. I mean, people who normally don't go see movies every day went out to go see that movie. The fact that it's one of the highest uh, movies in the North American box office says speaks volumes. You know. Um, so this is this is really cool news for someone like myself who has always campaigned uh, the best superhero movies. Last year I was campaigning Logan should have won. I think I was more campaigning more than Fox did. Uh, and now this year, sure, I, I'm all up for Black Panther. I think the Russo brothers should also get a nomination, not for Best Picture, not for, you know Avengers: Infinity War shouldn't get Best Picture. But it should get best directors because, or best director, uh, because a movie like Avengers: Infinity War, which is my favorite movie of the year, um, I think that movie could have like fallen apart really quickly. But the fact that they were able to to build all those characters and make them all work around this one character, Thanos, uh, I thought was a really really surprising um effort from from the russo brothers i i don't even think it was an effort i think it was an accomplishment and i don't think people give the russo brothers enough credit on that part like i've seen thing people say infinity war it wasn't that great there's been some people that have been like that there's people like me that also love infinity war and thinks it deserves the praise that it gets uh and then there's people that think it's a little overrated I do not think it's overrated at all. And 
I think people overlook it because it is a superhero movie. But it, it, it was a miracle that they were able to make that all work in a two hour and what, 20 minute film, half an hour film, maybe. Um, yeah. So Russo Brothers, I think they deserve a Best Director's nomination, but they're not. So let's all focus on Black Panther right now, getting the best uh, uh, picture film. Because, yes, it was a, a huge movie this year, a very important movie to a lot of people. And uh, I'm proud for that. I'm happy that we finally got a superhero movie up there. Uh, I'm just happy. So uh, not to take away from another movie that everybody's not really talking about, but maybe we should be, is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I wouldn't have known about this if I didn't see a tweet from the director just a few minutes ago. Apparently, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is nominated for Best Animated Picture uh, at the Golden Globes, which hopefully means the Academy is paying attention and saying, you know what, a lot of people are talking about this Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Let's get two superhero movies into this this race, okay? Maybe not for Best Picture, but maybe we can get that one in for Best Animated Picture. Uh, will it win? It would be nice because the way I'm hearing about it is a lot of people are saying that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is the best animated film this year. Some people are even saying it could be one of their favorite films of the year. I, I was listening to Colli the Collider guys talk about it because they all saw it. I think some of the Screen Junkies saw it too. Um, and yeah, uh, Chris Stuckman I know did a review for it. Um, and they were all praising this movie. So I, you know what? I'm looking forward to this movie. I'm getting to see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse tomorrow. So I... I my my hype level isn't up there, but I think it could get up there if it's what people are saying. We'll see. Uh, my expectations are right now in the middle because I haven't been as impressed with the trailers. Uh, I, th I thought they all looked good. I just didn't think they looked overwhelmingly good, like reviews, like what people are making this movie out to be. So I can't wait to see it out and, and judge for myself tomorrow because i do love the character of spider-man and hearing this about an animated spider-man movie i mean wow i i'm i'm all ready for it <laughs> so i uh, can't wait to see that and if it's gonna if it's worthy enough to be nominated for best animated feature i mean that means even the the, the people that i guess that nominate these movies uh the golden globe whatever people <laughs> uh it must have put an impression on them too i guess or maybe they just heard the love and uh, of poor i'm um, pouring love that came for it um that uh, they're like you know what? better nominate this or people are gonna kill us um so yeah uh this is great news for superhero movies in general um i think if you are a fan be happy today you know who knows if this is ever going to happen again, especially with a movie like Black Panther. Who knows if another superhero movie will ever be in that category. Uh, this is like when Heath Ledger was nominated for The Joker uh, in The Dark Knight. I mean, that was a huge category that a superhero movie was able to get into. And best score also. Let's not, let's not brush best score out of the way too. I don't think any superhero movie has ever been nominated for best score so the fact that black panther actually got that black song doesn't surprise me too much um maybe but usually superhero movies they're always contenders for special effects um i'm glad to see an award to this movie that wasn't special effects that it was actually three other categories uh, you know, the Dark Knight trilogy, I, I know, all got best cinematography, and I'm glad because Nolan has a really great cinematographer on all his films, not just the Dark Knight trilogy. But if you watch a lot of his films, uh, especially in his more recent years with uh, Interstellar and uh, Inception and, and Dunkirk, uh, they've all had great cinematography in those films. So uh, with that being said, guys, comment below and tell me your thoughts on Black Panther and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse being nominated for Best Picture and Best Animated Picture, uh, respectfully. I'd like to hear what the fans, my fellow nerds, are, are thinking. And with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, and until next time, take care.